For this model, I have baked a three-tier rectangular cake. I stacked them together and simply covered them with buttercream. And now I'm doing my sides, so I'm rolling out some white fondant measuring to my cake. And I'm not going to glue it right away, I'm simply going to put that aside so that my pieces become a little bit hard. Doing the same thing with my black fondant. I am going to roll out my fondant and measure it for the back and the front of my cake. After waiting 15 to 20 minutes, you will notice that your fondant will become a little bit hard. And that's exactly what you want because it makes it so much easier to work with. Simply place it on the side of your cake and rub it a little bit with your fingers and you will notice that the fondant and the buttercream will create some sort of a glue and your fondant will stick right on top of your cake. And simply finish it off by smoothing it out with your smoother. Roll out the black and white fondant and cut out three stripes of white and three stripes of black fondant for each side. Glue your stripes to your fondant by brushing a small amount of water. Water and fondant will create glue. Start with the white stripe and then alternate with the black, working your way up. Place your front and your back right on top of your buttercream and you will notice that your buttercream will create as a glue to your fondant. Then what you're going to do is simply cut out the edges nicely using either a sharp knife or an exacto knife. Smooth out both sides making sure everything is nice and crisp using your smoother. Glue each letter in the front of your cake using a small amount of water. Create two creases at the front and two creases at the back, leaving at least two inches in between by using this kind of modeling tool. Using your extruder, create two cords by using black fondant. Measure your piece to size and twist two pieces together, creating a cord for the front and one for the back. Brush a small amount of water at the front and the back and glue both pieces to your cake. Cut rectangular thin red pieces of fondant and place them on top of your cake. Make sure to cover the entire top so that we don't see the buttercream. The buttercream will create some sort of a glue which will make your fondant stable and not fall off. Continue gluing your pieces until you have your desired look. And there you go. This is how I create my Sephora bag. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this, simply subscribe to my channel for free. Click on the pictures to find out how it's done and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.